Reason is Jim Nakakwa's state of national address sona is fallen flat, offering little more than platitudes and deflections of the promises he made in November 2017. Samira Mashuka Trukunaka Ayawakumanapanapa, his Wednesday speech was largely devoid of actionable policies, leaving many Zimbabweans uh, questioning his leadership. Zimbabwe is grappling with severe economic distress, marked by skyrocketing inflation, a collapsing local currency, and a massive job losses across key sectors. Instead of addressing these issues head on, E.D. Munakagwa chose to shift the blame, accusing the private sector of exploiting the foreign exchange market and engaging in parallel market activities. This failure to take responsibility or offer new strategies is only heightened public frustration. At the heart of Zimbabwe's economic wars is the collapse of Zimbabwe's intermediate government zig currents introduced in April 2024. Retailers like Food World have already begun closing stores in response to the current crisis with major chains like OK Zimbabwe, Pick and Pay and Spa warning that they could soon follow suit. Doma shuwa tuku na kutaiwa wakuma na farimu pali ya menda farimu government kutuku na kutaiwa zoka promisa wachipinda awa na wachifara wachitaiwa watakuna zirinani chenji ya wakuya takuna zoka promisa nezo waku deliver takutuna watu tipanipa wakati orera tukuna watu wakuma na waku tuzuka waku negative wakati kufura zero kare chuona marite u shops uh, wana food wewe utichuona wana oke okay, unana pick and pay wachitu pa e hindi kuti awa maji maji shukira mashakada eso takuwa vara kutuku 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 to the Mafungo, any more people from Srupichi to Kitisha Shamsa and Pedagomesic Shemedu, sounds because Saka can also subscribe or like, so turn on the bell icon.